The functional form for a traveling wave is kind of a, unusual. The fact that it only depends on the combination of x minus vt or x plus vt is a little complicated to deal with. So I wanted to go through an example. Let's suppose the graph on the left shows a, a graph of a wave pulse that happens to occur or be taken at a time t equals zero. So we, in other words, took a photograph of a water wave passing on by. I'd like to graph this thing at time t equals three seconds, supposing that the wave speed was two meters per second. And we can do this just by sketching, of course, but I want to get the mathematical form of the wave pulse, which I'll call h, uh, well understood. So I've made two graphs h at t equals two zero seconds and one at three seconds. And let's make ourselves a little table. We can plot along the horizontal axis of this graph the various locations, x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 meters, and I'll put that in my table right here. This all happens to be at the time of 0 seconds. But we know that our function, the function h, only really depends on the combination of x minus vt. So I want to make a separate column that shows you what the values are for x minus vt. Since v is 2 in this case, I'm writing x is minus 2t. Well, it's pretty easy for this particular case because time is two, zero seconds. We're start starting the clock at zero. So the value of x minus 2t is just the same as x. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And our graph here gives us some insight as to, as to what are the values of h at these various values of x minus 2t. So at zero, the, value, the function h happens to be zero. At 1, the function h is still 0. At 2, the function h looks like it's climbed up to be 1, and so on. So I'm going to write those, those points in here. This is our map. For every value of x minus vt, this is the function h. And that's a great way of describing a function, just a set of ordered pairs. The horizontal coordinate is x minus 2t. The vertical coordinate is h. Now I need to make a similar table like this one for the new time of three seconds. I want to know what are the values of x minus vt. Well, I'm just going to write down a whole bunch of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4s. And I'm going to remember that this is all at three seconds. And now the question is, how do I get 0 for this combined variable, x minus 2t, when t is three seconds? Well, I know that in the combined variable, I'm subtracting off 6. So in order to get 0, I need to have x become 6. Down here for the second row, when three, t is 3 seconds and I'm subtracting off 6, the only way I can get the combined variable to be 1 is for x to be 7. So this is the example, how I would graph, uh, chart what the various values of x are for time equals 3 seconds to give me these values of x minus vt. Now for these values of x minus vt, I know what to do with h. I know that at 0, h is supposed to be 0. I know that at 1, h is supposed to be 0. I know that at 2, h is supposed to be 1. And I know that at 3, h is supposed to be 2. And 4, it's supposed to go back down to 0 again. So I can just fill those in now. But now the great thing is, because I made the chart for myself of what these horizontal coordinates versus these vertical coordinates are, I also in the chart have a value of where this should be occurring along the x-axis. And notice that this now tells me a set of ordered pairs in x and versus h. So I can graph 6 comma 0, 7 comma 0, 8 comma 1, 9 comma 2, and so on. The function h hasn't changed. If it really thinks it's just being graphed as a function of x minus vt, it thinks that nothing has happened. Of course, you and I know that this variable x minus vt has changed in both x and t, but the function h is kind of fooled. It only knows about the combined variable, so it thinks nothing's happened. We think the graph has moved to the right. Let's think about the previous example. If we were that life buoy out in the floating in the water, and the wave pulse is floating on is is passing right on by us. Let's imagine that we're at 10 meters and we want to graph the wave amplitude, how much we jiggle up and down as a function of time. 
So the wave pulse looks like this. And now I need to make that table again. I'm going to imagine a set of coordinates x minus 2t. I'm going to say that I'm at 10 meters and now I want to chart this at various times. Well, if x is 10 and I want x minus 2t to be 0, well I need t to be 5. If x is 10 and I want x minus 2t to be 1, I need t to be 4 and a half. If x is 10 and I want t to be or x minus 2t to be 2, then I need t to be 4, and so on. So notice the time is getting smaller. Now, of course, I know what h is at all in all these cases because I know what h is supposed to be as a function of x minus 2t. h just looks like this. Now, if I make a graph for us here on the life buoy as a, of what h of t is, how much we jiggle up and down as a function of time, that graph can be found by just taking these ordered pairs in my chart. 5, 0, 4, 1, 5, 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 3, 0. And it looks like so. This says that about three seconds into the uh, our starting the clock, all of a sudden we rapidly shoot up, and then we gradually shoot back down again. And that's not surprising, because if this over here, the h of x, represents a wave front traveling to the right, and it's just about to hit the 10 meter point. Well, the first thing we see is the steep part of the wave, and so we shoot up quickly, and then we gradually get ourselves back on down again. And that's what this graph looks like, is telling us over here. Although it visually looks flipped, it is saying the same thing. We first, the first thing we do is we shoot up, and then we gradually ramp our way back down again as the wave has passed by. So overall, what we're trying to do here is cement the idea that this function h only depends on the combined variable x minus vt. It doesn't matter what x and t are as long as they're in this particular combination x minus vt. And we can imagine ourselves at some fixed location x, or we can try to imagine we took a snapshot at some fixed time t. So the left graph represents we had a fixed time and we graphed position the right graph represents I had a fixed position and I plotted time